When we go outside our house or when we are going to the school, we can see buses, cars, cycles, trees, animals like a dog, small cat, sometimes even flowers. So we can see them because it's day and uh, the sun is shining. What about at night when it's completely dark? Can we see these objects? And if you're going into a dark room in your house, it's completely dark and no light is there. Can you see any objects that is already there in your room? We can't. At the same time, if you light a candle, or even if you take a torch light and switch it on or even your light bulb or tube light in your room you can see the objects so from this we can understand that light helps us to see objects so a torch light we earlier saw we switch it on it gives light and sun gives light on its own so objects like the sun which gives out light are called luminous objects so what about a chair a painting in your wall or a shoe are they luminous Earlier in chapter 4, we read about opaque, transparent or translucent objects through which you can see, partially see or cannot see. So objects through which you cannot see the other side is called an opaque object. And if through an object you can see partially, that is, it is not clear, but you can see some light, it's called translucent. Example will be oil paper, so it will be blurred. Somewhat you can see light from the other side. So this is called a translucent object. And if you can see an object or the light on the other side clearly like for example through a glass this is called a transparent object so you can collect certain things around you like an eraser plastic scale pen pencil notebook tracing paper or a sheet of paper a piece of cloth and uh, as you can see in this table you can write down whether you can see through that object or not and whether that object is opaque transparent or translucent so what is a shadow so when we go and stand out in the sun or if we keep an opaque object which we saw earlier when we go outside and show it in the sunlight you can see a shadow on the ground so this is a shadow. It shows the shape of whatever opaque object we keep, including us. Even if you go and stand there, our uh, shadow will fall on the ground. At the same time, if you go inside your house and uh, inside a dark room, you can't see anything. If there is a source of light, like a torch light or sometimes even the light bulb, you can see shadow on the other side. Either yours or any opaque object you keep, the shadow will fall on the ground or on the wall. So from this, we can know that for shadows, you need a source of light, like a torch light, sunlight, etc. An opaque object. Is there anything else required you'll see with an experiment ask your friend to stand in front of you switch on a torch light and turn it towards your friend so you can see light on your friend then ask another friend to hold a cardboard behind your friend it should be a bigger one so that uh, it's broader than your friend's body so now you can see shadow of your friend on the cardboard so from this we can learn that shadow will fall on a screen so the screen can be anything it can be a ground because if you go and stand in the sunlight your shadow will fall on the ground then that screen can be also the walls of a room a building or any surface that can act as a screen so using shadows we can learn about the shapes of an object for example if you're standing in the sun your shape will be falling on the ground same way if you are showing an eraser a pencil the shape will fall on the ground or any screen like a wall or a building but sometimes the shadows can also mislead us for example using our hand we can show different shape of animals also it's a trick and it's fun but it also misleads us you can see in this picture now let us see a pinhole camera. So it is nothing but an ancient form of today's camera where you have uh, the eyepiece on one side and on the other side you have a screen. So here you can take two boxes, cardboard boxes, one bigger and one smaller so that the bigger one slides the smaller one inside. So in the bigger cardboard box, make a square in the middle on one side, cut it, then stick a tracing paper over it. On the smaller box, make a hole so that you can see through it with your eye and now slide the box so that on one side you have the tracing paper side on the other side you have the hole now look at any uh, light image where uh, light can pass through from behind and you have sufficient light around you look at the image that falls on the tracing paper when you look through the eyepiece that is a hole so similarly you can see the solar eclipse but what happens the sun becomes darker as the eclipse starts but don't look directly into the sun it can be harmful to your eyes also sometimes during the eclipse and one more thing when you pass a tree you can see on the ground many shadows of the leaves and in the gaps you can see the sunlight so there's nothing but a natural pinhole camera where the sun's image falls on the ground so even during eclipse if you see down a tree you can see a crescent shaped 
or a hollow sun down that happens through the leaves of the tree. So here you can see one thing, images on the pinhole camera falls only if light travels in a straight line. You take a cardboard and roll it into a pipe and uh, you look at a candle, you can see through it. At the same time, if you bend it, you can't see through it. Even the light from the candle can't be seen also. So from this, we learn that light travels in a straight line. So that is why when an opaque object blocks the light, shadow forms. So now we'll see about mirrors and reflections. You must have already heard about mirrors where you can see a face. So image falls on the mirror. So that is what you call as a reflection. Similarly, any other objects also can be seen on the mirror. At the same time, the reflections can also be seen on uh, water bodies like ponds, uh, rivers also, or a lake. When the water is stationary, you can see images of buildings or nearby trees on the water. So this is also a reflection. What about light travel? We can do an experiment. Go to a dark room and uh, take a torchlight along with you and ask your friend to hold a mirror in their hand and light the torch on the mirror. You can see the reflection directly. It will be glowing. Next, ask your friend to tilt the mirror to one side. What happens as the light falls, you can see the light get reflected to another side, to other side, either side uh, on which uh, your friend is tilting. So on the tilted side, you can ask your uh, a friend to stand there under the front. So now what happens? The light will fall on your friend. So from this, you can learn that the light is traveling in a straight line and also it is getting reflected in a straight line. We can also make another experiment where as you can see in this picture, you can have a thermocol and um, you can have a comb placed straight as you can see in this picture. And on the other side, have a mirror in a tilted angle. Now what happens on the one side, either have a sunlight or you can light a torch. So what happens now, the light will travel through the comb between the gaps of the parts of the comb, what happens? The shadow of the comb will fall after it. You can see in the picture also. At the same time, light travels to the mirror and gets reflected through the gaps. So the gaps, light will be falling on the ground from the mirror. At the same time, the opaque part will form like a shadow, as you can see in this picture. So from this also, you can see that light travels in a straight line. And at the same time, it also gets reflected in a straight line. So far in this chapter, we saw about luminous objects and about mirror, where the objects are opaque, translucent or transparent, about reflection shadows and also about pinhole cameras. Continue to register your comments. Thanks for watching and supporting my channel.